Welcome back guys. So today in this video, I got this idea to talk about the subject because it's been in our nightly news, in our local news. Uh, just about a few weeks ago, there was a news report about illegal Airbnbs that are listed without permits. And they talked about Branson and Taney County having a thousand listed on Airbnb, but out of those only 400 have permits. So this tells us that the counties are watching us pretty closely as far as who has permits and who doesn't on their nightly rental property. So after I talked to Stone and Taney County Planning and Zoning, I realized that there are a couple of differences that I'm going to go over in this video. So uh, stay tuned and hopefully this will answer some of your questions because it definitely answered some of mine too. So today I'm going to talk about the regulation for the R1 zoning, the residential areas of Branson and how that has changed and how that affects your decision in buying a nightly rental right now. And we're talking about single family homes, so don't worry about condos or the nightly rental developments that are being built around the lake. So the major change happened uh, when Taney and Stone counties no longer allowed any kind of nightly rental in the R1 zoned single family homes. So this means in these areas, you cannot do a nightly rental. You cannot apply for a permit in these areas. And I'll bring up the county map because this will show the R1 zoning in this light yellow color. This is where nightly rental is restricted and there's no chance of getting a permit in these neighborhoods. As I was on the phone with planning and zoning, which they were great, both ladies were just awesome to talk to and spent so much time with me. So I had a few questions and dug a little deeper. So my first question was, what zones can you apply for, for a nightly rental permit? And that is definitely A1 agricultural, which is all white, which is most of the county, and your RR1 in blue, which is your rural residential district. Um, again, both of these are your more rural type properties and you can definitely try and apply for a permit there. So your next question might be, how do I get my hands on these zoning maps? Taney County is really easy. It's all online, which is what I'm on here. And I'll leave the link below to the Beacon site. Um, and then you can pull up all the zoning right there, just like I've done. In Stone County, you actually have to walk into the courthouse and take a look at the zoning maps in person, which, you know, uh, is fine, but it's not as convenient. Um, my biggest question, if I'm operating a nightly rental without a permit, what are you going to do to me? So here's what happens in Taney County. Taney County is a complaint driven office. So they're not going to do anything unless they get a complaint from a neighbor. So if you get a complaint from a neighbor, which you very well could, it's happened many times before. You can uh, get a letter in the mail. They'll tell you to shut it down, basically, to shut your nightly rental business down. Um, and then after a couple of letters, you can go in and just apply for the permit. Basically, they're just wanting you to just come in and do it legally and get that permit. Um, of course, the Board of Aldermen could turn it down and you would lose your nightly rental plans altogether, but definitely Taney County will wait for a complaint until they take any real action. Okay, here's the difference in Stone County. They're actively looking at Airbnb and VRBO every day, and then they're figuring out if you have a permit or not. So my question was, okay, well, what are you going to do if they don't have a permit? Here's their answer. They're going to serve you with two warning letters. If you don't respond to the warning letters, you're going to meet before a judge and you're going to be served with a hearing where you have to go to court and meet before the judge. And then I said, oh man, well then what happens after that? So she said, the judge will decide on any actions or fines. Hmm, okay, well that doesn't quite answer my question, but scary enough. Let's say you wanna buy a rural piece of property, just some raw land, and then make plans to build nightly rental homes on the land. What would be your first step? So um, Taney County told me that the first step is to get it rezoned as an NR1, uh, same for Stone County too. 
And then in the RR1 part, you just have to apply for a CUP. That would be your conditional use permit for a home on land uh, in that RR1 zoning, that rural zoning. But then you still have the risk of getting it passed. So you still have to go through the process and meet before the Board of Aldermen and they have to listen to your case on why you would want to do a nightly rental and what are the benefits and so on. And then they decide if you can have the permit. I see this wording a lot on the MLS and there's a lot of agents out there that say grandfathered in. So grandfathered in would mean that here's a home for sale that's a nightly rental and it's like this nice little package and it's making all this money and here you go buyer here's your perfect nightly rental with the permits and everything so i asked taney county is that so like does the permit transfer to the new buyer here's what they said no it doesn't actually in taney county nothing is grandfathered in so you would have to go and apply for a new permit and you may not get it so that's the chance you take now stone county has a big difference there because I asked if um, if a house already has a permit, could that be grandfathered in? Could that be you know passed on to the new buyer? She said yes because the permit transfers or it runs with the land, kind of like it's attached to the property like an easement. And I said wow, okay, well that's a big difference because if you were to find a home in a residential area that was all set up and it had the permit, it could be transferred to you, but not in Taney County. So there was just a lot of little things to think about when I talked to planning and zoning. If you're thinking about buying a single family home for nightly rental, please call planning and zoning in Taney County and Stone County. I'm going to leave the numbers there for you below. Um, They'll answer all your questions and I would ask them all the crazy questions just like I did. They're totally patient with you and they're there to give you the answers. And they probably know a lot more than most realtors out there because things change, you know, with regarding uh, rules and regulations. Things can change pretty quickly. So I hope this has helped you guys uh, with your search for property here in the Branson Table Rock area. And make sure to give me a thumbs up and a like because that really helps my videos. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you next time.